Some of the early voting across the country right now, specifically in the state of Michigan. Elon Musk recently amplified a misleading claim that Michigan has more registered voters than eligible oh, wow. citizens. In response, the state's Democratic Secretary wow. of State, Jocelyn Benson, corrected Musk's disinformation, telling the billionaire not to, quote, feed the trolls. And Secretary Benson joins us now live in studio. Secretary Benson, thank you for being with us um, again. Elon Musk tweeting that there are more registered voters than eligible citizens. He's pushing these pernicious lies out on his platform, the one he owns, making sure that they're amplified. He knows better, of course. Um, what is your response to what he continues to push? Well, you know, it, it, he clearly Googled my name to find out my full and middle name he, and didn't take time to actually Google the facts about our elections in Michigan. And to me, it's just a, a misuse of an extraordinary platform and extraordinary influence when at a time when he could be using this platform to actually educate every voter, no matter who they're going to vote for, about what they need to know and why they need to have confidence or why they should have rightly placed faith in our elections. Uh, he's using it to you know, carry the water of, of, I would argue, Putin and foreign adversaries and others who want people to want to damage people's faith in our elections and sow seeds of doubt about those election results. And you have calmly responded with information, with mm -hmm. data, and with a, a link to a website he could actually, if you were interested, click and view and see the truth about this. Let's talk about early voting. We've seen huge enthusiasm across the country. We got those extraordinary numbers out of the state of Georgia yesterday and last week. Uh, what does it look like in Michigan? Voters are in, uh, breaking records as well. People have been voting from home and mailing in ballots. Over a million citizens have already done that in Michigan. Uh, and we launched early voting in person in Detroit on Saturday, and we saw 2,000 citizens show up to vote in Detroit, which is 10 times the number we saw the last time early voting started in Detroit in August. So all across the board, across the state, enormous enthusiasm. And interestingly, of those million citizens who've already returned their ballots, the majority are women, uh, which also shows an enthusiasm among women voters in Michigan, which we've seen now for several cycles in our state. So, Madam Secretary, as voting begins, let's talk about the idea of intimidation. First of all, Elon Musk, by highlighting you by name, Tell us a little bit about, do you have safety concerns? But also we know the Trump campaign has trying to enlist poll watchers throughout yeah. the battleground states to, they say, to keep an eye on things to make sure it's fair, but it's other voting rights groups have suggested it's an effort to dissuade people from voting. What are you seeing in Michigan? Well, look, transparency is our friend, and we welcome people to observe the process, but we draw a line where disruption occurs. And we have some indications and some, some chatter that disruption could occur on Election Day. If that does, we'll be ready. We've been doing scenario planning, and we've got a field team across the state ready to respond and de-escalate any incidents that might occur and protect the people who are, who are participating in democracy and making democracy work for everyone. So we'll continue to do that and with an eye towards just making sure people vote and they can have faith in the system and that we address and see consequences for anyone who will disrupt our process. Both campaigns concede that Michigan, among other states, will be razor thin. Nobody really knows how this is going to go. But if Kamala Harris does win the state by a small margin, let's say, we don't have to wonder how Donald Trump and his allies and probably Elon Musk will say that it was rigged, that it was fixed, they'll point to some uh, conspiracy theories. How are you prepared to defend your process and show voters that it was a free and fair election? Well, exactly as we did it in 2020. We had partnerships, people all across uh, Michigan on both sides of the aisle mm -hmm. defending the facts, the truth about our elections. Uh, we have uh, secure layers in place with paper ballots and we do audits after the fact to ensure our outcomes are accurate. Uh, and all that to say is the citizens of Michigan and citizens around this country really need to be critical consumers of information in this moment. The efforts to fool us and fool citizens about our elections only work if we are uninformed and can, and can be fooled. And so we've set up a website, michigan.gov slash election facts, where throughout the post-election period as well, we'll be responding to conspiracy theories with facts and truth so that all of us can be ambassadors for democracy. Uh, we're speaking about Elon Musk. He's doing this thing in swing states where he's offering a million dollar prize to people who sign a petition of his. Does that violate federal law? It potentially, I mean, it, it is illegal to pay someone to register and it is illegal to pay someone to vote. Uh, and so if that's what's happening here, I think legal authorities will look into that at the state and federal level. Uh, I just 
think it's a little bit unnerving that someone would try to, you know, manipulate the election process in this way. And again, when we look at, you know, why is this wealthy individual attacking a lowly state election official in the state of Michigan, you can't help but wonder if it's to distract from this issue and the potential legal problems that might arise. So there are a lot of people, as you know, Secretary Benson worried about the process mm -hmm. uh, of, of how this is all going to play out. Um, you and Governor Whitmer obviously are no strangers to what has come with all these conspiracy theories around Michigan and other states. What can you say? And, and we've heard Secretary Raffensperger just last week saying this is a free and fair election. We put in new measures. It's secure. What can you say to reassure people who are worried what may come after Election mm. Day? We've sent the past four years, really since January 6, 2021, where we saw how far and how low people would go to undermine the accurate elections uh, and the will of the people, preparing for this moment, uh, holding partnership uh, scenario planning exercises with law enforcement, strengthening our laws to make it a crime to, for example, threaten election officials. So we've strengthened our system. Uh, we've also expanded our options to vote. Early voting is now in Michigan, and that's what we're seeing voters take advantage of more than any. Thing. So we've increased our voter education efforts, expanded access to the vote, uh, and increased our transparency as well so that people can have access to trusted, accurate information about the security of our elections, can track their ballot through the process, and ultimately we hope have faith that, that when they vote, their vote will count, and that all valid votes will count in our state. Secretaries of state have rarely been so important and have such a <laughs> focus on them. So we, and this is regardless of party, I mentioned Secretary Raffensperger as well, the country should be grateful for people like you standing up for the process. Thanks for being here. We it's an honor it. to do the work. Thank you.